Once upon a time, there were three little BYU Coeds. They lived in Happy Valley, in the deep mountains of Timpanogos, lived the big, bad fault line who, for hundreds of years, had been waiting to wreak havoc on the unprepared citizens of Happy Valley. Our first little Coed, who lived by the river and lived week to week on perishable food, was blissfully unaware of the looming danger posed by the big, bad fault line. She thought that BYU had enough food for every single person on campus. Little did this BYU Cohen know that the BYU food supply consists of vending machines and the socks for the on-campus dining centers. BYU's full-time emergency manager is quoted as saying, A survival diet includes food out of the auxiliary services warehouse, snacks out of vending machines, and ice cream from the creamery. So this poor little Cohen is not going to be as ready as she thought. Now we have our second little Cohen who lived in the town square. She had done exactly what BYU had asked her to do on the emergency website. She had her three gallons of water and knew the words of emergency meeting. Hey, what's up, Lexi? How's it going? Good. How are you? Not too bad. I'm your emergency preparedness coordinator, and I'm just making sure that you know where to meet in case of an emergency. Do you know? No, I do not. Oh, great. Then we meet over there on 4th East in case there's an earthquake or a flood or something, okay? So okay. go over there. <laughs> okay. I'll make sure to remember where to meet you. I mean the ward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our third little Coed lived at the villa and was more than prepared for the looming doom of the big bad fault line. She picked up an extra can or two at the store every week, and she has a backpack filled with a change of clothes, water, high calorie food, a game if she gets bored, scriptures for spiritual preparedness, and hygiene products. She also has emergency contact numbers in her phone just in case. Also, in the spirit of BYU, she has lots and lots of ice cream. meeting place. Memorize emergency contact and family phone numbers and addresses. Learn basic first aid and know your word emergency plan. By doing things, you can be prepared and shall not fear. The scriptures and modern prophets have made it clear that there will be lean years and plentiful years. The Lord expects us to be prepared for many of the challenges that come. He proclaims, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. Part of the trauma I experienced crossing the Sierras in that blizzard many years ago occurred because I was not prepared for this sudden, unexpected event. 